220 New York rocks. So let's color. Mr. Gazda here. This is what we're going to be doing. This is Earth Science Reference Table. Uh, page number three. It looks like this. Page number three. I recommend you having this out on your reference table as well so you know where it is. And it probably looks a little bit uh, better there than maybe these copies do. But uh, here we go. Uh, detach the map. Maybe you have, I don't know if it's two pages or maybe it's on the back. You may have to flip back and forth. Depends. I have uh, copies of both. So here we go. Lightly color the areas that have exposed sediments deposited during the Pleistocene and Cretaceous periods yellow. So what you want to look at here is, these are the geologic periods. We go from uh, most recent to oldest. And it says Cretaceous and Pleistocene weakly consolidated to unconsolidated gravel, sands, and clay. So that's the sort of age of what you find uh, there. And this is not bedrock, this is just uh, sediments. So you're going to find that, that symbol right there and you're coloring it in yellow. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, where you really see that is, is down here. Okay, so it's really all of Long Island, which is, you know, pretty big and home to, I don't know, two, three million people. Yeah, maybe three million people. Okay. Um, it's all just sediments, and we talk about that being, that's from the last uh, glaciation. Okay, so it's all glacial sediments that were deposited in the realm of uh, 25 to 10,000 years ago. Okay, so that's the first one. Color all Devonian age bedrock orange all devonian so this is all bedrock is the solid rock that's below all the soils in any spot devonian okay devonian um period is here and it has the little dotted uh pattern so this right here this whole area so this is the this is the one period that the most um more than any other period more of new york state has uh devonian aged bedrock here beneath it okay because it's a huge hopefully you get the idea oh, and I don't want to call it that just right there huge swath of New York State all Devonian age and it does say Devonian these are mainly uh, sedimentary rock limestone shale sandstones conglomerates they don't get that specific here but and you can see here as you're from here then it goes to Silurian, then it goes to Ordovician. So as you go here, you're kind of going, it's getting older. This bedrock is getting older as you go this way, which is interesting to think about. That's that. <coughs> Excuse me. Three, find the areas where Silurian age rocks are exposed. Color these rocks red. Now, it's not really exposed. Some of it's under soil, but it means where it exists. So Silurian red. Do I have red? Uh, Silurian is here. It's this straight up and down pattern. And it says Silurian also contains salt, gypsum, and hematite. So the salt and the rock salt and gypsum, that's evaporite rock. So this is this is the time frame, the Silurian time frame is when you had the ocean that covered New York State that evaporated. I know we talked about uh, earlier on in the class. So that is in here. And that's this is where like uh, the large uh, salt mine that's still operating in New York State exists is in here. Okay, and this is straight. Now you got to be careful. I'm just doing the main ones. This here is this angle. This is something different. Not Silurian, so you got to be careful. Um, next one, color rocks from the Ordovician period, blue. Ordovician now is this angle line. So what am I doing? Blue. And uh, so you have it here and here and here. So and there's there's a bunch. Here, and it goes a little bit right along the uh, Lake Ontario here, Oswego. Utica, here we go in the Mohawk Valley, right here. Up the Hudson Valley a bit, north of Albany, and there's some down here as well. And I'm not going to go too crazy over this little sections here as well, but you, but you can. I'm not really holding you to that. Just really the main sections. Then that's all at or division. So now we're, we are getting older as, as we do those. Call the sedimentary rocks that formed during the Cambrian period purple. Cambrian period, um, and then these are Cambrian. These are the metamorphic rocks. So we want just these. This symbol here are the sedimentary ones. This Cambrian. These are moderately to intensely metamorphosed east of the Hudson River. Um, 
Actually, these are so these these are going to count as well. This and this, this symbol and this symbol. And what color are we doing then? Purple. Purple Cambrian. Okay, so this is where it's going to get like up here, up here. If you can see it. Again, okay, it's not about being super. It's we want to get the really sort of the large chunks here and it's kind of mixed around a bit. And then you have some of these right here. Okay, but they're kind of mixed up here. But you get a the sense there's no real like majorly huge sections of it. But they are kind of scattered out and you can find them really up here, up north is really the main case. Oh wait, you know what, going back. I missed this blue up here, sorry. Was this or division, I missed this up here. My fault, I apologize. A thousand apologies. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> what's the next one? New York State contains quite a bit of metamorphic rock. Color all areas metamorphic bedrock brown. So metamorphic. See, these are the, all of these symbols here. Okay, these, all of these are metamorphic. My point is, what am I doing? Brown, brown. All of this, these symbols here. All the Adirondacks. The Adirondack ma mountains are pretty much all metamorphic rocks. It's, they've been pushed up, it's like this big dome. All the rocks above it, the sedimentary rocks, have lo long been eroded away, so the metamorphic rock beneath it is now exposed. And there's a, this whole area of mountains here. And then uh, you're gonna see this too. Oh, this is the sort of, um, this is like the Taconic Mountains, the like Taconic Parkway. And then there's more down here, okay, right in this sort of uh, Westchester and Bronx area here. All right, so all this, this is metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock, sediments, metamorphic rock here, and the rest is all sedimentary rock. Really no igneous rock in New York State. Seven, draw a red dot about this size at this location. 40 degrees, 20 north, and 75, 40 west. What am I doing? A red dot. A red dot, 40 degrees, 20, so 42 degrees north, 43, this is the 60 minutes here, this is 42 degrees, 30 minutes is this line that goes straight across right here, so it should be a little bit below, so it should be somewhere like in here maybe, and I could draw an imaginary line that goes across there, kind of, you probably can't see that, and then 75, 40. See, and that's here. See, these numbers go up this way. So 75, 75 and 30 minutes. So 40 is about here. So it's right about there. Right on a red dot. Right about there. That's my red dot. Okay? That is at that, is at that, um, those coordinates. Draw, uh, number eight says, draw a blue X about this size at 43 degrees, 30 minutes north and 76 degrees, 5 minutes west longitude. Here we go. Blue X. A blue X. So we're doing... What are we doing here? We're doing a blue X. 4330. So 4330, that, that's right here. Okay. And then I guess it's right here. So it goes right along here. That's 4330 right there. And then... 7605. 7605 is actually, see, this goes up to, it's not on this side of it, it's on this side of, of it. And it's just going to be a little bit, so this is 30, so it's right about here. If I was to go up, it'd be like here. So it's right about there. Probably, oh, I'm doing an X, sorry. X should be right about there. But the key thing here is there's 60 minutes uh, that subdivide each. Um, degree of latitude or longitude. Uh, I'd like to point out Ithaca is right here, by the way, everybody. Ithaca. You may need to see that again. Ithaca. New York is right there. Uh, and then 9 says draw a blue box at this at this latitude, this longitude. 44 and 45. So 44 degrees and 4... So it's 44 degrees here. This is 4430. So it's about halfway in here. So it's like... I'm going to kind of eye it up there. And it says it to be perfect. But you get it as close as you can. And 7455. 7455 is like right here. It's not over here. 74 because we're going this way. It's right about there. And then, so that box, 
I gotta make it dark because it's already in the blue. Okay, right about there. Okay, hopefully you got that. Definitely um, make sure you have the concept. We've done it a lot already, the latitude, longitude. And then here we go, questions below. Let's do these. Stan is going on a trip. As Stan goes from Watertown to Ithaca, what happens to the age of the bedrock? Okay, so from Watertown to Ithaca, okay, you gotta look. Watertown is Ordovician. And then this red here is Silurian, and this is Devonian. And you can look these up. Uh, these are all more recent, older. You can look them up in the centerfold of the reference table if you like, and it will definitely have this same order. So you have Devonian, Silurian, or Division. This gets older. This is more recent. So what happens here uh, as he goes uh, on that trip, the bedrock gets younger. All right, it's probably the best way to say it. Compare the general age of the metamorphic bedrock to the general age of the sedimentary bedrock in New York State. So you can look down here. This, if you look at Proterozoic in Cambrian, okay, you want to, you need to sort of look, you need to look at your center uh, fold of the reference table here. Okay, Proterozoic is here. So this is all below these, all these other. Um, Periods. This is all the sedimentary rock we're just doing. It's mainly Devonian, Silurian, or Division. Okay, it's mainly here. So this stuff is way older. The metamorphic rocks are way older. They're usually underneath all the sedimentary rocks. So uh, metamorphic, you want to say the metamorphic bedrock. I'm going to make this short. Metamorphic bedrock is generally it's older than the sedimentary bedrock in New York State. Sorry, my handwriting is poor. I'm just trying not to make this video too long. 12. What area of New York State has the youngest bedrock? The general area. Um, I, I hope that this isn't confusing to you. I don't mean bedrock. This is, these are sediments here. So I really mean Long Island is, is what I'm saying by that. Okay. Um, that's what I'm getting at. It's not bedrock. It is just sediment. Hopefully that's not confusing. I do apologize if you get fixated on the bedrock. Uh, so maybe you could say Long, Long Island, New York. Maybe you could say the southeast section of New York. You could say that as well, I guess. But people tend to say Long Island. Uh, name a city in New York near where you might find beds of rock salt. This is where you need to look here. Where's the salt? Okay. So you don't see. Where does it say salt? And it doesn't say. It says uh, Silurian also contains salt, gypsum, hematite. So the Silurian is this up and down pattern here. And actually, I mentioned it before. So you don't really know, but you could say something like um, any of these cities. What what is in the air? Uh, maybe Buffalo, but I was really thinking Niagara Falls, Rochester, Syracuse. Okay. And there are beds of rock salt in those areas, and that's where the salt mines are, kind of out this way. So maybe Buffalo, Niagara Falls, Rochester, Syracuse. I just need one of them. Syracuse. But it's it's finding the, where it says salt on there that is really a bit difficult. Niagara Falls and maybe Buffalo. 14 based upon your color and estimate the percentage of New York bedrock that is metamorphic rock. Your estimate must be your own. Do not get help from anyone. Uh, and I'm not even going to do this. I'll let you do it. So brown here. I really did a, pretty much the metamorphic bedrock here. The brown, brown, brown. Of all this, everything you colored for the most part, what percentage of it would you estimate it to be? And I'll let you do that. I'm not, not going to give you my answer. Um, what types of bedrock exist under the layer of soil in and around Valation, New York? Be specific. So, you want to find Valacia on there. And we're like, kind of, um, in here. So this is Albany, you know, we're like in this general area, kind, kind of here. Okay, in this, in this dotted pattern, the, the taconic sequence pattern. And, uh, types of bedrock, what I mean by that is not just metamorphosis, but sandstones, shales, and slate. Sandstone, shales, slates. That's what I was getting at. Sand, stone, shale, and slate. How old is the bedrock in Valencia, New York? Okay, so it gives you the time frame here. Um, 
It gives you the time frame here. Uh, through Cambrian, through Middle or Division ages. Okay, Cambrian through Middle or Division. So you got to look this up. Cambrian through Middle or Division. Okay, so Cambrian's down here, Middle or, or or Division. So something like five. You could write reasonably 542 to about I don't know 460. 542 to 460 million years old. Million years old. Watch this. 542 to about 460. And it's fine for off a little bit. Million years old. That's a lot. 